assalamu alaikum uh, today we are going to implement our previous step that is up sampling and down sampling in simulink so this is a short tutorial of using simulink and simulink library there are uh, different ways to open a simulink project so uh, you can open simulink model by clicking on new and then simulink model or you can simply click here on simulink library it is going to open a new dialog box for simulink library where we can access different tools for our specific project and we can open simulink project or simulink model from simulink library too so let's wait for it and one thing more uh, we are not going to use coding like uh, we do in matlab rather we are going to use different filter blocks to implement our uh, specific project or um, you can um, um, you can design any model or any uh, you can implement any example in this simulink model it is a bit slow Here it is. So this is Simulink library browser. We can uh, search any tool here. We will search here, but let's open new model first. You can open a new model by clicking here. Then uh, you can search required tools here in search bar. Like uh, today, we are going to implement upsampling and downsampling. On uh, for this example, we require sine wave generator, upsampler, downsampler, low pass filter, and spectrum analyzer to analyze our output. So let's start with sine wave generator. This is sine wave generator. We will simply uh, click drag and drop in our uh, Simulink model and it will place the tool in Simulink model. Here it is now. Uh, up sampler. So I'm going to search up sample. This is up sampler. Now down sampler. Sampler is placed now. Low pass filter. So I'm going to search low pass, and here comes low pass filter. The last one, spectrum analyzer. Spectrum analyzer. Here comes spectrum analyzer. So we are done with it. Let's place them in order. Sine wave generator, then up sampler, then low pass filter, then down sampler. And then comes Spectrum Analyzer. 
now we need four copies of spectrum analyzer so i i'll select spectrum analyzer then control c and click here control v click here control v and click here control v okay uh, let's place them in order So what we want to do is we will uh, analyze our uh, original signal. So I am going to name it original IGN. Then upsampled variant. Then comes filtered variant. And this one is output. To connect these tools, we will simply click on this arrow and drag and drop. Click, drag and drop. So these tools are connected. Now we need to connect this one to so it is connected with our original signal then upsampled now filtered and output is already connected now um, our next step is to edit the properties of these tools according to our lab task or uh, our example for this purpose we will have to double click on any tool and it, uh, our dialog box will open to edit its properties so let's start with sine wave generator let's double click on sine wave generator now we can edit its properties so Amplitude is already one. Our required amplitude is also one. Frequency required is 100. We are not going to phase off, uh, change phase offset. Then sampling time is correct. 1 by 1000. Then samples per frame. Now our requirement is to uh, change it to 100. That is 100 samples per frame. So I change this and click OK. Then we need to uh, change the properties of low pass filter. So double click on it. Now the impulse response we require is IIR. Then comes uh, pass band frequency and stop band frequency. Now our uh, pass band frequency and stop band frequency depends on uh, L that is upsampling. Uh, um, the parameter required for upsampling. So uh, in our previous example we were using 3. So uh, L is 3 and passband frequency will be 1 by L minus 0 0.01 that is 1 by 3 minus 0 0.01 so it is going to be 0.3233 and stopband frequency is 1 by L plus 0 0.01 so it is going to 1 by 3 plus 0 0.01 0 point, which is equal to 0 0.3433 then comes magnitude specifications and it is in db so pass band ripple is 1 stop band attenuation is 40 db we are going to use butterworth filter and everything else is correct so click on ok Now we will have to set uh, simulation parameters and uh, we, we are going to set start time and stop time and its um, solver type we are going to use. There are two options to um, and set these parameters so we will start with this one model configuration parameters click here.
start time is 0 second start time we require is 5 seconds and solver type is fixed step we are done with our changes so click on ok uh, other option to uh, uh, edit these um, model configuration parameters um, are go to simulation tab and then click on model configuration parameters or you can click on con uh, you can press control E so this is all what we have to do for this example so we are done with it and now our model is ready to run so click on run button now uh, we are going to observe that uh, frequency is automatically scaled for uh, different outputs and uh, the range of frequency is minus fs by 2 to fs by 2 so uh, here fs is our sampling time so uh, we are going to observe this frequency for different outputs and I am going to tell you how you can copy the figures also. Let's wait for the output. So, this is original signal. Then we need to observe sampled. Then comes filtered variant. and then the output <laughs> so this is the original signal and its frequency range is minus 500 to 500 hertz then comes the upsampled variant where we can observe multiple copies of uh, signal and it is minus 1.5 kilohertz to 1.5 kilohertz it is in kilohertz see then comes uh, filtered variant it's also in kilohertz but uh, mm, multiple copies are reduced to single copy and its uh, frequency range is minus 1.5 kilohertz to 1.5 kilohertz and then the last one our required output and uh, it is minus 750 hertz to 750 hertz and it is uh, after uh, down sampling uh, we have received this output after down sampling so if you want to uh, change the properties uh, con uh, change configuration parameters or style just right click on uh, the figure and you can change these parameters according to your requirements and if you want to save this image then uh, go to file and print to figure it is just the same as uh, the MATLAB figure and now you can save this image by using save or save as option or you can copy and paste this uh, figure to any file you want to by clicking on copy figure copy options so this is all for uh, from today's lab and I hope it is clear now. If there are some questions or queries, we can discuss in today's lab. 
our um, lab or today's lecture and i want you all to implement this example in today's lab so if you have any confusion we can discuss in our lecture thank you